call to order the work session for November 15th, 2022 of the Piners Village Council. Oh, yeah. The meeting's been called to order, and we'll go to item number two, other work session items. I think there were one or two subjects that were going to be raised tonight uh, before a closed meeting, which we'll have after the work session is completed. So I'll call on the village manager to uh, comment on other items. Jeff? Yeah, um, uh, Jeff and Mike um, have a proposal for your consideration. This is just a kind of a first <laughs> introduction to this idea, uh, but we wanted to get it before you so you could marinate on this suggestion a little bit, uh, and we might come back to you in the next month or two, maybe even during a strategic retreat, um, to talk to, to you further about this. But um, Jeff and Mike have both noted uh, that the condition of our downtown streets uh, it, uh, has deteriorated pretty rap rapidly. Uh, and I think Mike went back and found that the most recent pavement condition survey, uh, the majority of those streets are in the 50s, which puts them pretty close to being where we would have been actioning them this year anyway. Wouldn't say the majority, but some of them are, yeah. Some of them are, yeah. yeah. And in recognition of the fact that we want our downtown to be looking at tip top for the U.S. Open, um, we would like to suggest that you consider making a budget amendment to move some, not to appropriate more funds, to move, move some funds so that we could ramp up our resurfacing contract for this year, potentially, to take care of those town, downtown streets. And so I may, maybe I've said it too much, but I'll turn it over to Mike and Jeff. But do we have a map for this, or are we just looking at the... Is, uh, yeah, is this no. ours? No, no this is, a, this is a closed session different. that's in your hand there. Yeah, that's a different we'll talk item. talk about that, then. Yeah. Okay. This is... Um, I think Mike and I both have kind of come to um, an epiphany that we're kind of at a crossroads with downtown infrastructure, and we're going to get to a point, and are getting to the point very rapidly where we need to make some decisions. And so tonight, we really, I think, just wanted to prime the pump, if you will, for <coughs> some more in-depth conversation, either at the retreat or as a separate work session item uh, that's really dedicated to this, com to this, this subject. I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to mention the four things that have come to, that are coming to a head that we're, where we're starting to get to the point where we, we, we need to make some decisions um, leading certainly into FY24 budget and possibly before that. Um, and those four things that are occurring are the McAdams amenity report. If you'll recall, there was some, uh, some, some recommendations in there that were fairly significant impacts downtown that were significant changes. And I, what I pulled up here real quick was just an example of one of their recommendations, and this is on Market Square, and the top drawing shows kind of what it is currently. So that's kind of the, the lower half of Market Square down towards like Doonbury's end um, in terms of how it sets up today. The, the recommendations within McAdams is this after which was widening the sidewalks and changing how the parking configuration occurred. This same kind of approach is found also in Chiquipin. And so the same thing, this is the Chiquipin up kind of as you would look at it, say down by the Magnolia Place, um, the old Rizouks building, where you have on one side of the street, we have the parallel parking that's going on the other side of the street, we have the angled parking, and their recommendations there were to widen the sidewalk on both sides and convert the angled parking over to parallel parking and basically reconfiguring this path, this, this whole drive. Okay, we didn't make any decisions. We had talked about it some, you know, at what, what within the McAdams report do we want to consider and what do we want to say, yeah, that's, that's maybe too much. And we were going to do that at the retreat. So I just want to preface some of the, this particular of it, portion of it with this to just refresh your memory. The other things that are coming into play are um, the crosswalks and the parking spaces downtown need to be restriped. The paving, paving condition, pavement conditioning is such that we have, are at a time where we need to resurface some of the roads downtown, Market Square and Chinquapin, specifically Cherokee as well. 
And so we have these four things plus, I'm sorry, there's a next one is stormwater. I forgot to mention stormwater. We have some stormwater things that are going to be emerging from the master plan. So now we've got four things that are coming to a head and we need to kind of decide how are we going to handle them. I don't want to paint crosswalks and restripe parking spaces and turn around and pave. I don't want to pay and, do, and then do stormwater improvements after we pay. Yeah, then do stormwater improvements and tear it all back up. Or we decide to do something like this and we're tearing up brand new paving pavement as well. And so that's kind of where we are um, in terms of wanting to begin some dialogue uh, and put this into your mind that we've got some, some things we need to decide. We need to get the stormwater in the ground before we pave. If I'm changing sidewalks, I need to do that before I pave. We also got this 2024 open situation hanging right out there. So we're 20 months away from that, give or take. Um, so again, I really just wanted to sort of prime the pump with this in that we need to be making some decisions pretty quickly on what are we going to do, or unless we just want to be satisfied with kind of the road network and the situation that we have at hand through the 2024 open and if, if that's the case then okay you know so be it but um i would i would ask you to take a look at a close look at the roads from a just a visual um and and mike and i both just happened to come across this at two different times and within the last week and had a conversation and come to realize that you know we, we both have noted the same problem that um our roads are in downtown or we're right at the edge of being uh, research, needing to be resurfaced. Now, Jeff, though, when you're talking about downtown, let's let's just define the area. So we're talking about the talking core about village. the business district downtown. Yeah, so we're talking specific. about Cherokee, Chinkapin, Market Square. Um, uh, yeah, and I'm looking in and for out, down to uh, McCaskill and over to uh, Highway Two, I suppose. <clears throat> All right, Kelly, where did his go off to? And over to Fields Row on the east. Really, yeah, we're, we were specifically looking at Market, Cherokee, and Chinkapin, more or less in the downtown area. Um, yeah, Num number of people point out the crosswalks, especially the amenity plan. Where's the, where was the uh, the roads? No, it's not any of those. It went away. We can. Uh, that's all right. We can do it without it. But so our roads right now, Mark or are, are Mike, are what fifty six? Yeah. So you know, we just had a pavement condition survey done. Um, so every road gets rated between a zero and a 100, 100 being the best, zero being the worst. And then we select our roads each year to, to resurface. This year, I think we got to about the 53s, 54s on the list. Um, Chinquapin is a 56 or 57. So it's, it, it's up pretty right. soon. There's the map. Yeah. And the, the, the numbers are kind of hard to see on there. Um, Chinquapin is a 56, Market Square is a 65, so it's a little bit further down, but um, Chinquapin is the, the lowest rated one downtown, and then I think Market Square is the second one. So <coughs> if we went through our normal process, kind of going from worst to, to best, I think Chinquapin would probably be up for resurfacing next year because we would get to it with the 57 rating. And, and we might likewise take advantage of the opportunity to add Absolutely. Market Square because it's right there. Correct. Right. Market Square is one block and Chinkovin is many. Cherokee coming down uh, to the theater building is in rough shape. The crossroads that are in between the islands there are also uh, in rougher shape. I think the score is a little, if you visually look at it, I'm not sure the score is 100% is, is accurate when you go down and look at it on the, on the pavement. Um, then there's a, just another side dynamic, you know, they, Areas that we use for public parking don't all belong to the village of Pinehurst. So we've got some space in front of the theater building. We've got some space in front of the theater, uh, the, the village of Delhi, the department store building that are in private hands. And, you know, in theory, we would be able to hopefully work with them to partner with us on these these parking areas where part of it is our responsibility, part of it's theirs. We don't want to have half the lot done and the other half not. Those kinds of things. So, you know, there's there's a little other little dynamics that would come into play here. But the main thing is we've got, I mean, if we're not going to, if we are or are not going to do anything with the McAdams report in the way of these more substantial changes, um, 
then we can sort of set that part to the side. Then we're looking at stormwater and the resurfacing uh, aspect. And I think with those, we feel like, or at least I do, uh, to try to get those done ahead of the 2024 open probably means we need to start sooner than later with engineering for stormwater, and they've already begun some work on that. Uh, we would need to get that in place before uh, doing the road resurfacing component. In a perfect world, um, we might could align things if we all agree that this is worth expediting to where we tack on the road resurfacing maybe at the end of our current contract as an addition to the current contract for road resurfacing. I don't have a dollar figure at this juncture. Um, we've, we've really just kind of come across this and come upon this uh, and wanted to get it before you tonight. But we would have some funds currently in the budget that are um, earmarked for streetscape enhancements, but we have not identified what project you would want to take on. So, um, you know, one time we had talked about the next layer of streetscape enhancements would be at McCaskill Road along the face of EMS, basically from our public services down to McCaskill, because we've done, you know, some of the other uh, boundaries around Village Place, but we have not done McCaskill Road area. But we didn't, we hadn't, we had not settled on that. Um, and so there's $200,000 sitting there that we could repurpose if we ultimately decided we wanted to pursue um, resurfacing downtown after stormwater is put in. And I don't know if the timing would all work out or not. Um, but if not, then I think, again, I think certainly next year we would want to jump on this sooner than later and try to have it all done before the open. Uh, Jeff, the, uh, the option to change the road profiles as you, as you described that would that would be a streetscape enhancement it would and that we would already have money budgeted for that we have two hundred thousand dollars budgeted for an undesignated streetscape enhancement and so if we There's ultimately there. decided you want to pursue the yeah. McAdams concepts you know we could use some of those funds for that but then we'd have to pull from fund balance to do yeah, to do to the probably yeah okay. to probably do that entire project uh, I don't know if two hundred thousand dollars would do it all or yeah. not, um, but certainly, probably with the resurfacing, we would have to we'd have to interject inject some additional funding from fund balance. Jeff, uh, could that all be done before the open? It's it's a push, and that's why I'm kind of thinking we need the McAdams pieces. I think the one and the stormwater the, are the two driving factors here on a timing situation. Um, if we are electing not to pursue the widening of the sidewalks and those kinds of things, um, then we're down to stormwater and road resurfacing. Um, that's doable within the time frame. <clears throat> Getting the engineering all done, if you want to pursue the McAdams, we need to start on that now uh, to see if we could actually get it completed <coughs> and get the road resurfaced and everything put back to bed. And, I, th and, you know, I think in your mind ready. you've got um, sort of a... Uh, priority or rather a, a sort of step one through five, six, whatever it is that would have to be done um, before the road resurfacing would be and the striping would be done. That, that would be seen to be the last thing that we would do. Right? That's so correct. Working back from that um, and not making any decision necessarily on McAdams tonight because I think the council would need, excuse me, another look at that. Um, I have some concerns about that, having looked at it with you sure. over time, Jeff, and talked to some others about it. But um, the stormwater thing is clearly something we've all been interested in for quite some time, and we have some data on that. Um, but, Mike, where, where would the stormwater go in this part of the village? I know a couple of corners and things that will be there, but do you want to lay that out briefly? And yeah, I, I don't know the complete answer to that. So that is one of the problem areas that we're working on with our consultant. In fact, I was down there with them last week to, to look at that. Um, they had some potential ideas for even maybe trying to use some 
pervious pavers and things like that where it would infiltrate through instead of just using asphalt, but uh, our consultant's working on that to get us some concepts for how that would go. So I, I wouldn't want to um, give an answer that goes against that, but we should be getting some info on that pretty soon. If we were, um, well, if we agree that the paving piece is the last piece that, that can be done, but it's got to be, that, that's important to have done by the open, I would think. Couldn't we, couldn't we say that um, that paving piece of these core streets, or most of them, could be done as late as the first part of 2024? Now, depending on weather and that time of year, of course. Yeah. Of course. Now, the, ideally, yes. Reality, that's DOT paving season, and we can't ah. get a contractor here uh, to start that that quarter, that first quarter. Uh, we had a pre reconstruction meeting today with our paving contractor. That's you know we've got we've engaged for this year, yep. and you can talk a little further about yeah, that aspect of it. Yeah, they're they're going to probably start after the first of the year. Um, usually, you know, our our stuff is started in the in the winter months they're probably going to start in january for for this year's contract. start where um start where we we have four miles of roads they don't, i don't know which one they're going to do we have four miles scattered throughout right. the village and they will start okay. somewhere but well, why well wait a minute if they're starting in the first part of the coming year 2023 that's january february march right yeah, why, why isn't that possible in twenty in twenty twenty four then? Uh, okay, I may have misunderstood. You're, you're talking calendar year. I was talking fiscal year. Okay, no, I'm talking. So July, July, calendar. August, September is our first quarter fiscal year basis. So that's what I thought you were referring to. Okay, so, no, okay. No, ideally, that's that would be the best time to to pave downtown, right, uh, so, because of the obviously the events are not happening. Yeah, traffic is less, etc. In, so, in January so 2024. The paving, yeah. theoretically anyway, could be done as late as the first few months of 2024 in order to be ready for the open, which gives us calendar year 2023 coming up to execute some of these other projects. Can I make a big with the big with the big um, with the biggest issue there in my mind being what do we want to do, if anything, with the McAdam report? That, that is the driving factor, I believe. All right. To that point, can I, can I make a suggestion? And I, I don't know if I'm signing you guys up for too much here, but yeah, I mean, it sounds like this. That is the critical question right now. Yeah. And, it, and time is of the essence. Is it possible and are is it possible from staff and is the council amenable to try to set you up for a decision on whether you're going to pursue that option at your next meeting? December 13th. What else is on the agenda for that, would you guess? Because I think that'll be a quite a discussion. Don't know. Yeah. don't know yet. Okay, yeah. Pat? When you say pursue that option, are you looking for an up and down vote on McAdam or an up and down decision on what they're laying out? McAdam's uh, change to the road profiles. Change, just change to the road profiles. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah. I think uh, if, I, I, if so that's the, the driving do think we timing. Do the Hang on a second, Jim. Right uh, Jane, I couldn't hear that. Would you say that, ask that again? Or? What was, your, what was your point you were making, please? I have no interest in changing the road profiles or the circulatory system. Oh. But I do think that we should go ahead and put in the stormwater and repave promptly. A question. How disruptive will this be to the downtown business community? <laughs> okay. Very quiet. The That's the question. Disruptive. Describe disruptive. It's it will be very disruptive. That's what I was looking uh, it for. It will be extremely disruptive if we do the McAdams uh, project. Right. Not it'll be just all relative. Uh, it'll be a, just a regular mess if we do either other, any of the other things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Every aspect, all three of these things are going to be disruptive. Everything is a problem downtown. Okay. Yeah. I just, yeah I, it's a, and and there therein lies the timing that we would we need to carefully consider in terms of how we proceed let me go back to something else you said the villager deli parking the parking in there is it mixed is it part private and part ours or is it yeah if you look on the screen there you see the gold little thin gold line there in front of the deli um right here that goes around like that yes that's the uh approximate property line that goes associated with the deli here's the flagpole out okay. here Okay. And so we have, this basically goes out almost or right about to the clock that's out there. That's us. 
Uh, well, we're beyond the clock, and from the clock back to the deli is Marty McKenzie. Well, but where does where does the Marty line start? Take your arrow to right here. This is this is the property line for this prop for this okay, theater so building. That Not whole, the theater building. I'm sorry, but the uh, department store. That whole thing is is. I, that's correct. Okay, oh, that's what I wanted to know. I, I'll, I'm going to take this opportunity to make another suggestion, or or maybe comment and, and suggestion. That is public parking by practice. Why don't we just purchase it or exercise eminent domain and just clear all this up for the future? I mean, the parking spots the Parking spots, yes. I'll, I'll show you here on the theater building also the same yeah. problem. Uh, what are so we talking about buying? That, There's a cross. That's public parking, parking spots. What is public parking in front of the... <clears throat> In front of the deli or the department the deli building, building, as yeah. well as the theater building, yeah. both those buildings. It's, because it's these questions keep coming up about having to negotiate with the property owner to do things that are in the public interest, and it seems like it along because it is being used for public parking. There's no restrictions on it. There's no. 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 Well, you might go, have a hard time with either of those options. I just, just, just my wild guess. What, why don't we, in the past, mm -hmm. on those two pieces, theater building, department store building, how, how have we worked with the property owner before to pave? Have we done it and got reimbursed, or have they done it and... Like it have been paved? A different, I don't know that... Uh, different it, project. It, it, I don't think it's been paved under, when, under my umbrella since, <laughs> since I've had and it shows. service operations. Yeah, it shows. It was... Okay predates me really okay. jay gibson engineer at the time uh was managing all the road resurfacing around uh, up until 2010 ish well on your first suggestion i'm not i i think it was a good one but i'm not sure <laughs> i'm not sure there's interest in the mcadam report do, do you all I'm not. I mean, if you're ready to make that decision now, it's yeah, that's, that's fine. Easy that's, on that's, us. That's, and Jeff, I, I know, I know you were not happy with our lack of enthusiasm over that over McAdams, but I, I really am not. Well, Jane brought up a great point. point who parallel sure. parks anymore? Um, but I, you do. Yeah, yeah you're young. Well. Yeah, I don't, I don't the, know. The I cars don't. park themselves <laughs> nowadays. Parallel park. Uh, cars park themselves nowadays. They'll parallel park I, for you. Yeah, that's right, <laughs> Jeff. You, you have a CD in your it's, in your car. Jeff, no. don't believe all those commercials you see. <laughs> let, let, let's, let's be specific here. When we say McCannum report, what part of the report are we talking about? I think we're talking I'm, about. I'm only talking specific in this in this particular situation about whether you wanted to expand any of those sidewalks or not. Right. Because widen the sidewalks if, and maybe if that's adapt a no, the circulation then, plan. Then we right. set that there are aside other aspects. down to storm water and, yeah. the, and paving. The only thing I found somewhat attractive was the reverse of Market Square, yeah. of the traffic going that way. Mm -hmm. I, I, the, whoever was speaking that night yeah. somewhat convinced that, me that, that that's... That one we can decide on way now, a little going. bit later. Well, Jane, speak. Well, people are confused now. It's, if you change it around, it, people are going to be even more. Uh, there'll always be. There's always going to be some people. I'm not, confused, I don't know. That I agree with that, but uh, <laughs> I don't. If, if the merchants but don't care, which but that's a minor going, point. The reversing of Market Square is a in the grand scheme. That's minor, minor point compared to the rest of the McAdam if, plan if about the width are, of the streets yeah. and the sidewalks. You guys have and come to the decision. At least three out of five of you say you don't want to do that. Then we're we're we can then move ahead with stormwater and paving ideas. Well, there are other parts of McAdam, though, we need to think about, aren't there? Yeah, yeah, but I'm only, I'm only, I'm only honing in on that one recommendation. Just so we're clear. We still, we still have other items here to consider and there's, uh, within great McAdams, but um, those are separate conversations. Well, and there's a lot of expectation among the business owners, some of whom are here tonight, as well as residents generally, as to the other amenity improvements to the core area of downtown uh, that are starting to take place, the painting of the uh, yeah, we, light posts and poles, but we're other things about... We're doing some of the about... maintenance items right now. The rest of the, a lot of the other stuff in here is, is capital-related right. expenses. Right. Oh, wait, wait, there were streetscape improvements that we were talking about, correct? Yep. All the way from the hotel, all the way to, into downtown. Which, Lighting. Yeah, oh, there are a number of, yes, there are a number of those things. Um, well, you saw... All around that core. I, I, I addressed right. a point to Jeff... 
uh, Madden earlier today, and Jeff responded, everybody got that, um, although it was in the afternoon, you may not have had a chance to read it. That had to do with the lighting plan and when that's going to come. It looks like fiscal 24 is <laughs> the big date for all of that right now, according well, to what you wrote. But so that comes into the picture here, too. Yeah, it does. I mean, unless you, you want to pursue those more rapidly, then, you know, we just need to fund it out of, out of cycle. And, you know, normally these things compete with all the other priorities out there, you know, and then you pick and choose based on uh, kind of, you know, we get the direction at the retreat. But it comes down to a point is, you know, is, is this more important than that, you know? Right. Now, it, it, now, all of those needs in front of you and, and trying to go ahead and move forward on, say, lighting enhancements downtown yeah. or whatever without uh, could, could we orient the, the discussion the then, taking up Jeff Sanborn's first point? of uh, December 13th, it sounds like um, I don't think any of us maybe want to see the McAdam widening issue go forward. However, could we use that date to refresh our memory a bit about that and then talk specifically about these other aspects? Maybe we have more details on the stormwater at that point, Mike. Uh, Jeff, you might have more details on some of the lighting and other things, other amenities that are being improved on that and use it in that sense. I'd, I'd like to make sure we're not overlooking something, and just right. to be very clear, mm -hmm. um, although I don't think we have a, I don't, I think we have a majority that's not interested in the widening aspects, um, but I think we ought to look at it and just make sure we agree with that, yeah. and then take the discussion on the 13th into these other areas to give direction. And yeah. if it comes down to choosing between McCaskill and downtown, put McCaskill on the back burner if that's a question of money. As far as I'm concerned, I mean. Our visitors don't drive down McCaskill past the EMS that often <laughs> compared to shopping in right. the village. So, well, this started as landscaping facelift, which is streetscapes, and I'll yeah, yeah, I'm very concerned about that. I think and the landscaping to... component is due to me around the 16th of December. Say again. The actual landscape construction plans are due around the 16th of December. Okay. Um, okay. We would take them to beautification committee first, typically before, and then then show you all them after after the beautification committee you've had a chance to look at it and maybe make a few suggested changes. We, we meet on December 13th. You suppose you could get them available by December 12th yeah, to you? <laughs> we could add them in. It seemed like when we went through the, the street, the major changes with the streets, at that point we still didn't have, we didn't have any images of what they wanted the streetscapes to look like. So that correct? The landscape within the planting islands, and that's what's coming to me in it's due to me by December 16th. And I don't know if we're talking about apples and oranges, but I'm just thinking about the lights, the plantings, the benches, the whatever it is that's going to make that quarter, those quarters downtown look a little fresher. Is that what we're talking? I mean, I'm just, I don't know what all the components of that. Yeah, well, are. when we were talking about the McAdams report, specifically we were talking about, when we're looking on here, the widening of the sidewalks. And I think I've got an understanding that that's, you don't want to do that. Right. So I take that off the table. That allows us to pursue stormwater and paving. Um, now, the McAdams lighting enhancements and landscape enhancements, uh, we have the lighting plans you know, already in McAdams' report. It's just a matter of execution. But it's a, it's a budget item. Okay. Now, to Pat's point that he just made a second ago, we have $200,000 in the budget yes. for streetscape enhancement. And it's undesignated as to where you want to place it. So if you want to say, Jeff, you guys take that and let's get some of this lighting done and the landscape done, then you know that would be the direction we'll head with the, that $200,000 that we have there. Okay. And, and I think we would consider it budget increases too to accomplish some of this if, if necessary they, yeah. two hundred thousand dollars might go pretty far um, yeah. okay. with lighting enhancements and, and some of that kind of thing with we the, haven't budgeted uh, out so we'd have to we just have to work that whole project through with the stormwater requirements is it even feasible to get resurfacing done in this year's contract it i think it'd be difficult tight it would be tight yeah we're going to have to have somebody come back and repave whatever we tear up anyway. And so, uh, <clears throat> Jeff, they may have to remobilize and come back, which uh, may cost us a little bit more. But One comment on that landscaping thing. 
I, I am generally for it, except I don't want to cut any trees down. <laughs> okay. I remember some of the, the, the McAdams landscaping, there was a, a few trees that were going to drop down. Yeah, the, that, that's the, gone. Yeah, the, one, the ones that were mentioned about being removed would be in accordance with our tree inventory that already designates high hazard trees and which ones we need to go ahead and remove, okay. which ones we need to keep an eye on. Okay. The other thing that's in here, though, to your point, was as trees die and have to be removed, be strategic in your replacements. It may not be that where that tree died is where the next tree should be planted. There should be appropriate spacing. Okay. Yeah. So that, that's also in there. There's two components relative to that. Jeff, you're, you're pointing to the report which we got a few months ago, yeah. right? Yeah, that's and, the McAdams yeah. report. Okay. Um, so I, I would urge us all to relook that before December 13 and refresh yourselves with the different parts of it and, the, and what was really called for. And while we're sort of not so interested, it seems, in the um, widening of the sidewalk plan, it is true that that part of their recommendation allowed for some pretty interesting enhancements to the look of downtown. Yeah. So there may be other ways to do that without widening the sidewalks and narrowing the streets, but we are taking away a little bit of, of what might be possible without changing the overall, the overall footprint of downtown. Yeah. Okay. So on the 13th, I guess we talk very little, if anything, about the um, widening project for the sidewalks and focus more on what Mike and Jeff can learn in the next uh, three or four weeks uh, before that meeting, all right? And then make some decisions then and carry on into January if we need to. Do you, um, that work? In terms of refreshing fair, Jeff your, I'm sorry, I was gonna say, in terms of refreshing your memory on the Nick Adams report, you guys have it. I don't know if, do we need to, bring back their presentation and flip through it or or just I, I've got well, I've got the presentation right here I think but uh, you might want to do we want to do you Probably, have well, we, we can that? at least use that to talk from yeah I don't think we need anything new I'm just we do yeah, have yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. Just, we have. I, I'll bring the original presentation they had but then we can use that just as the talk as a as talking points I guess for lack of the better. illustrations to facilitate our discussion yeah exactly do we, do we need to ask uh, that, that that McAdams report that Jeff will use be emailed to us again? Everybody think you have that? I'd like to have it again. Could you send us the link again, please? I'm, it's somewhere. Yeah. Are there other aspects of this subject? Um, okay. Jeff, there was another topic uh, for work session or not? Nope. I'm aware of. Uh, not work session, closed session. Okay, all right, fine. Um, <clears throat> with nothing to improve there. Okay, we need to uh, move into closed session, and there is a motion to do that um, as uh, item number four on our work session oh, yeah. agenda. Okay, I'm. And I think someone is prepared yeah, to I read that. No, it's actually. Uh, Pat, it's uh, the longer version, and Lydia's already oh, asked to read it. Go, so ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. A long one. I move to recess the work session and enter closed session pursuant to North Carolina General Statute Section 143-318-11A5 to establish or, or to instruct the public body staff or negotiating agents concerning the position to be taken by or on behalf of the public body in negotiating the price and other material terms of a contract or proposed contract for the acquisition of real property by purchase, option, exchange, or lease, and pursuant to North Carolina General Statutes 143-13-11A6 to consider the qualifications, competence, performance, character, fitness, conditions of appointment, or conditions of initial employment, initial employment of an individual public officer or employee or prospective public officer or employee. That's a motion by Lydia Bosch. Is there a second? Second. That's a second by uh, Pat Pazella. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, we'll move to closed session, and we'll take a five-minute break while we uh, close down for that. <laughs> 